So guys, I want you to pay special attention to what I'm about to show you. So if you take a look at this portion, let me zoom in so that I see it very well. This portion of the image bar. If you take a close look at it, uh, I mean this particular section of the image. Just take a close look at it. Let me zoom in in case uh, YouTube compression has reduced the quality of this video. If you take a close look at this particular portion of the, of the model skin, and you see it was smooth like this and this is exactly how it is now uh, most time after taking a very beautiful headshot you notice that when you are retouching even without you removing the skin texture there are some portion of the model skin that naturally do not have enough skin texture the remedy to that is to use digital skin texture that's what i'm going to show you in this video how to get realistic skin texture or your image using slammy realistic skin texture photoshop action the good news is this action i'm going to give you for free and this video is focused on how to use the action not on how to create the action i'll leave a video link in the description where you can go on to learn how to create this action on your own but pay attention to this particular video so that you can get the best out of this action or if you just rush to the description and download this action without watching this video you might not get the result you desire so watch my workflow as i go through this quickly to show you how to get realistic skin texture on your portrait headshot photography and we know further ado let's get started so i'll delete this uh layer so that i'll show you how to go about it from scratch so if you come to this button here, you see action. You will now have this on your own action panel here if you have not already downloaded it. So you come to this area of your Photoshop, click on it and go to load action, look for load action. And then you click on load actions and then you go to the folder where your action is and then you load it and you see it in this panel here so you see slimy digital skin slimy realistic skin texture so why on this action you click on the play button to apply this action to your image just that after playing this action you see that there's nothing that will happen to your image initially because there's a layer max here which is meant to remove or hide the effect of this particular action so that you can have the freedom to apply to only where is required so take your brush this time make sure your brush is soft round brush then adjust flow to around 20 like this then increase your brush size and brush over the area of the image where you want to review this mostly part of your highlights if you create details in your highlights it creates the illusion of more realistic skin in the overall image so that's a trick or i think that's a tip make sure you review more details in your highlights to help make your overall image look realistic and not look too smooth or too plastic you see exactly what is happening as we are brushing over the image let me zoom in very so that you can see exactly what is happening this was the before this is the after it enhances and also creates its own action or sorry its own texture on your portrait this was the before this is the after this looks very realistic but maybe if you try it on your own image it might not look realistic because of some of the settings i'm going to show you how to change on your image the first is the emboss so double click on the emboss like this you see this adobe photoshop prompt comes up that says smart filter stacked on top of this filter we now preview why this filter is being edited just click on ok and then you see this emboss comes up this angle here is where you have to pay attention because it's the only thing i think you should easily change to get or to make this action look realistic on your own portrait so now the angle is 151 means the light is coming from the top left corner if you don't know the direction of your own light look into the eye of your portrait you see that the light will create a catch light so that you can know the direction so if the direction is another direction like 
top left corner you see you change it like this if it's button or anywhere the primary source of light is coming from you set the angle to match but this one the default works for it if the default works for you you leave it like that so the other setting you can also work with is the texture setting which is in the camera roll filter So bring up the camera roll filter like this and let's zoom in so that I see exactly what happened in the texture area like this you see if the texture is too much like the texture of the action is more pronounced than the texture of the original image and you want to blend it in you come to this area and then you either reduce or you increase depending on what you want to achieve on your own image hope this is very self-explanatory if you have any question leave it in the comment section right now and this Gaussian blur determine how blurred out the whole stuff is. If you overblur it, you see exactly what happened. But I think the default setting is okay unless you just want to play around with it or you have a particular intention or you know exactly what you are trying to do. So this was the before applying this action. See how smooth this part of the portrait or part of the skin of this model is this after applying it see how realistic how uneven the texture is to refine you understand what i'm trying to say sorry for my lack of diction but i hope you understand so this will allow you to get high quality image if you have any question leave it in the comment section like this video if you haven't already subscribe to this channel because we put out free premium Photoshop action, helpful tips, tricks, and photography tutorial. If you want my mentorship program, you check the link in the description. Send a DM on Instagram. We are personally coach you through the process of retouching so that you can become a top high-end Photoshop retoucher, photographer, so that you can start charging your clients. This is a very good return of investment. So go to the description right now and write me a message. If you have other stuff you are looking for, check the channel you see videos on retouching color grading skin tone correction skin tone color grading and everything photoshop happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial